he's smart. He, he knew he wasn't being able to keep up with his friends at school. And it plays on your self-esteem a lot. Jacob went from not wanting to read at all within six months. We'd be driving down the street and he's reading the signs to me. He never even attempted that before. When you have a student that's having trouble in school and the public schools are trying as best they can with the resources that they have to try to meet those needs, but sometimes you need something different than that. Who do you go to? What, what do you do? I, I, you know, you, you don't, you really don't know. I was working with him after school. We were reading every day. We were trying to go over the sight words that he was supposed to be learning. I mean, he, and he was really, every day he, he did this. And, and he just kept getting more delayed and more delayed. And I didn't know any tutors. I, I don't know anything. And that's where, when she went by and she saw your sign, it was like, you know, maybe this is, you know, maybe we should check this out. There is a real need out there. Jacob would not read. He would not read for me. And I think he was embarrassed. He's smart. He, he knew he wasn't being able to keep up with his friends at school. And it plays on your self-esteem a lot. And it's not because he wasn't trying. He was working really hard. Every day after school, we were, we were studying. So Jacob went from not wanting to read at all. And within, and I can't remember, cause you know, it just kind of starts happening. But I would say, I know within six months, we'd be driving down the street and he's been reading, he's reading the signs to me. Or even if he doesn't know that word, he's beginning to try to sound it out. He never even attempted that before. And that was within a few months of him being in the program at the end of the school year. He got a award from the school. He was the most improved reader in his fifth grade class. He is reading a little above grade level in two years. And it's only because of the technique, the program that you use. If you are struggling with the basic concept of reading, then, and particularly year after year after year, and you see part of your class moving on, they're understanding what the teacher's talking about, and you're sitting there not getting it, not able to read simple directions, that really takes a toll on your self-confidence. So it doesn't matter what you want to do later on. You already have placed in you the doubt that I can't do something. And that's, that's not helpful either to a, to a child, to start them out that way. Jacob is a very visual person. So before he could read, he still liked to play video games, so he would try to watch the game and figure it out visually because he couldn't read. Now he can read. Now he can understand the nuances and the things of the games better, you know, but it's just, it's such a basic need. For a lot of these kids, they're, they're good solid students. They just have trouble with reading. So they get passed along. So what happens to those kids when they hit middle school, when they hit high school, if they try to go on to college or something beyond high school, to a trade school or whatever it is, if, if your reading skills are poor and each grade level requires you to read a little bit more information, a little bit faster, you know, where do these kids end up?